Hello everybody and thanks for watching. This is Fat Mike. Another episode of Neo Fly here. We're going to talk about FBOs today. I'm currently located in Kathmandu. Sold everything I got. Got an airplane. Got 1.2 million dollars and I've moved to Kathmandu. Just like the song says. I'm going to start flying passengers from Kathmandu to Lukla. But I want to set up a steady service. I want to be one of the steady airlines carrying passengers from Kathmandu to Lukla. I want to be able to receive extra missions, uh, you know, specified specific missions. So that's where FBO comes in real, real handy. <clears throat> to set up an airport, we'll go right here to our airport. We'll right click on the airport and we'll go to use as FBO. It tells us it's 20000 per week. We can also see that right here at the bottom where it says FBO cost 20000 and that is a weekly cost. Go ahead and rent this FBO. Yes. Go up here to the FBOs. Go to management. And we'll see that now we have an FBO at VNKT, which is Kathmandu. Here, this is our stock. What your stock does, these first three right here, is help uh, generate higher paying missions. This is not a static item. Every time it generates a mission that is a deluxe mission for passengers, you got deluxe passenger, you got deluxe VIP, and you got deluxe airline. For deluxe passengers, you got to have magazines in stock. For deluxe VIP, you got to have caviar in stock. And for deluxe airline, you got to have whiskey in stock because nothing goes better than whiskeys, mountains, and rude passengers. And then here, we got mechanical parts. And what this allows us to do is instead of paying for airframe repair, if we have mechanical parts, we can just repair it with these parts that are in stock and already have them there. These icons here give away information of the runway. Uh, the longest length width, the altitude of the runway, how much the rent cost, and so forth. All right, now we currently do not have any missions coming out of Kathmandu, so we have got to create lines. <clears throat> and right here we can see a line. We got our FBO departure, and there's a drop down list because you can have more than one FBO, and you select the FBO that you want to leave from your ICAO arrival. Now we don't see Kathmandu on here. And if you don't know the call sign, you can go up here to market. You can say, I want to see airports 100. And right here, VNLK. If you scroll in, you will see that is Lukla. We'll right click on that. All right, we don't have to right click on that. We'll go back here to flying or to FBO, go back to management, and we want to use VNLK. All right. Mission type you can choose passenger, VIP, express, sensitive, airline, or cargo. So we'll just set up a passenger line. Max passengers. I'm going to give you a little tip here. My aircraft is capable of carrying 14 passengers. That does not mean that I have to make this 14 passengers. If I make this 14 passengers, I might only be able to, I will only be able to take one mission. So what I tend to do is make it around five passengers per flight that way I can stack my flights now your your other pilots your 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 staff and crew I recommend you use them more for uh, flying market missions and making that big money that you make real quick like to begin with uh, to help you build up buy more planes and you can add this isn't the only line you have to create you can add you can create lines for 14 passengers. This is just one line. I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
So max passengers, five. Max weight, we don't have to worry about that. And the price. Now, we can go here and click estimated price. The estimated price is $5,830 to fly from Kathmandu to Lukla. I don't have to use that price. I could put $10,000 in there, but nobody's going to buy the tickets. So I tend to go about 1000 over that price, and we'll just say 6500 And the max number of missions that it wants us to generate for this this is this is uh this is it has a lot to do with your stock now every time it generates one particular mission and it turns out to be deluxe it'll use one of your stock but for regular missions it won't use any of your stock so i'm gonna say hey generate three of those okay and then we'll click here to add new line all right so there's our new line now, we could go over here. We need to get us a dispatcher. Now, your dispatcher offers bonuses to certain things. Of course, the highest paid one on has a few uh, price bonus. Uh, bonus to the mission payout. Uh, bonus uh, mission prices increase. How much you get paid. Uh, the deluxe stock uh, uses less of it, and it uses less parts. Emma, and if you'll notice, all of their names in the name. I heard another guy talk about that. So let's say I want to hire Emma. So I go right here and I click on send Emma to VNKT and then click this button. And Emma is hired for $1,200 per week. She is also weekly played. All right. Now I go back to missions. And go over here to VNKT. Say refresh. No missions. There we go. Refresh. All right. So now we've got three missions. Three, four, and four. So that's actually, that's just 11 people. We could fly all three of those and make 14,000, 15,000 off of one trip. That's how that works. But once we get there, how are we going to be sure we got a mission coming back? Because chances are we're not. So to, 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 to get a mission coming back, we can also go over here to Lukla and set up another FBO. 15000 per week. So we're in it for 35000 a week, which we can make. We just realized we can make. 50, over 15,000 on one flight. So it's not to make, make two or three flights a week and you got the cost of all this covered. All right, especially if you've got other pilots flying for you because we could also go in here and we could say, you know, if we have another pilot flying for us, we could do the same thing. We can go VNKT to VNLK passenger mass mass passengers let's say you got another 208 14 passengers estimated price 5830 and just say 6500 generate two of them and there we go we've got a new line mission added so we go back to our missions refresh This is kind of funny. It should be bringing up more missions, but right now it's only bringing up two missions. This is still kind of funny right here how the generate missions are working. So. All right, so all we got is these three missions right here right now. All right, so. We got us a FBO set up over here. So we're gonna go ahead and get us a dispatcher set up over there. We're gonna hire Gloria here. Or no, we'll hire Carla. And she's gonna be over at VNLK. So now we got Carla working at VNLK. Now, we can have a flight returning from VNLK also. And to do that, we do just do the opposite. VNKT passengers, let me just say four 
Or we'll do five. Sixty. We'll do sixty-five hundred again. We'll say generate three of them. All right. Now we got a line coming back from Lukla to there. Okay. Now the only reason I would do the fourteen is if you were gonna have your uh, have your crew fly those, but right now as it stands, crew cannot fly uh, stack missions, so I generally don't have them fly stack missions. I have them fly materials. Uh, materials regenerate every seventy two hours. I didn't know that before in my other video about doing uh, the trading market. But I, uh, I, I, I found some information on it. It's 72 hours. Every 72 hours, they regenerate. So you could work them around that. Now, let's talk about stock. All right, so at VNKT, we want to put some stock in here. So we can go to the local market. That's This is one way we can do it. We can go to the local market. And uh, we can say, okay, there's some caviar here. There's some parts. We, we get some parts. All right, we'll go ahead and buy these parts. And we say, buy it to the warehouse. Okay. All right, then once it's in the warehouse, or you could even buy it to your plane. Because if you go somewhere else to get parts, you're still going to buy it to your plane. Uh, we'll go ahead and send these parts, select them all, and send them to our FBO. All right, so now at VNKT, you see we have 793 repair parts. Now let's say those parts went not here. I could have found where those parts are. I could have looked over here and said, hey, I'm looking for something in particular and preview the market, bring the market up. Hey, look, there's some whiskey. <clears throat> Now, I could have one of my pilots or me myself fly to this airport, buy the whiskey, fly back to where my FBO is, and then unload it into my FBO. Same thing, say trading purposes. This is where other trade goods are coming in handy now. So, this is, this is marketing dash two. So, all right. So, we got 793 parts here. Uh, I don't know what kind of market they got in Lukla. We can go here again, say preview the market, and they have parts there. We can buy them when we get there and put them in the market. You know, they have whiskey. Uh, they have, you know, they don't have no magazines. No, oh, wait a minute. Yep, magazines. They've got magazines. So we could buy those magazines because I don't think there's magazines here. And we could put half there and bring half of them back with us to our current FBO. So that is how you set up your FBOs. You set up a line and you get to getting these deluxe missions. Like I say, they pay more. I'm not going to go through flying the missions with you. I'm just here to give you a basic idea how they work, how to set up a create a line. You know, you can fly to more than just two FBOs. You know, at that point, you probably want to use your AI pilots to fly to the other airports to keep those lines going and keep them busy and keep making money. A bug that I found is like, <clears throat> if you decide to stop using the LBO, FBO and you want to get rid of your Emma here, Emma just got fired, okay? But if the FBA goes away, you know, if it goes away on its own because you haven't paid your rent, and you go to fire one of these, it won't fire them. It's just a bug. Uh, there is... Uh, Kiwi Mace, uh, he's another YouTuber that makes NeoFly tutorials. He did a tutorial on accessing the database of the uh, of the of the NeoFly and how you can go in and delete that manually. But uh, I recommend if you haven't had experience with databases, and it's not necessarily experience, but uh, don't make a make a backup of everything. Which he explains all that to you. Kiwi Mace, just t type in. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, add, I'll add a link to the video in the description below to where you can access the database of NeoFly and make any changes you want. Just be careful when you're fooling around with that and remember everything's case sensitive. 
So, anyway, that about does it. That is how you do the FBOs. Like I said, you pick what type of flying you want to fly. You want to just fly cargo? You can fly cargo. There's nothing that ups your cargo bonuses. Uh, express sensitive packages, you know, uh, airline. I haven't really done any airline stuff, and I normally don't use FBOs. I'm, I'm, I like to travel. I like to say, oh, well, I want to fly to Alaska from Alabama and just work the markets and fly all the way up there. I had somebody comment one of my videos the other day that was having trouble going in one direction. Uh, something you can do if you're watching this is, like I said, go right here to the market. And if you see, I type in a thousand here. That range of airports just got a lot wider. Also, in your missions here, you can go ahead and select small trip or short haul. You'll see that those messages spread out even further. It might get you going in the direction you want to go. Just make sure you don't haul too much cargo to where you don't have enough fuel to get there. Especially if you're playing survivor mode like I am. Alright. Well, gentlemen, if you have any comments or questions uh, about this video, please leave them below. I will answer them as soon as I can or make another video about it. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the end of the Nero, uh, Neo Fly tutorials. Uh, I'm sure there's some things I might not have touched on, but there's lots of great tutorials out there. Uh, I enjoy making train videos and airplane videos, and I have an extensive library of video games. If there's anything you would like to see videos made of or tutorials made of, please don't be ashamed to list them in the comments below. And I, if I don't have the game, I'll probably go get it just to make that video for you. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And this is Fat Mike signing off.